News A's Project Economy will help you save, stretch, and protect your money. Well, maybe you need a garden tiller or a coffee urn for a big party. How about a sewing machine for a one-time project? Those types of items can cost you a lot. And if you're only going to be using them once or twice, it could add up to a big waste of your money. Now one local woman is trying to do something about that. News 8's Keith Baldy has more on that in tonight's Project Economy, Your Money Report, and it's really a great idea, Keith. It is, Tori. There are some websites out there that list items people are willing to donate, but with this one, you can also borrow things. And there are people willing to share their skills to help others learn something new. It's meant to foster community, while at the same time, save you a significant amount of money. Scanning the landscape of the dump, it's clear this place has just about everything that people once used, including the kitchen sink. For Joanna Basinger of Scarborough, the reality of what people get rid of inspired her to create. It was something that I thought needed to exist. That something is the website closestcloset.com. Here, members join for free and then post 10 items they're either willing to give away or let somebody borrow, or skills they're able to teach someone else. Just about anything someone has or does can go on the list. Car seat that I don't need anymore. My baby's already outgrown it. Um, a maternity winter jacket that's still perfectly usable. And All available so that you won't need to needlessly spend money. Like if you're having a party and want a punch bowl and glasses, you could buy them for 50 bucks or borrow them from someone at Closest Closet for free. Or what if you need to work on a sewing project, but no, you won't use a machine more than once or twice. You could buy one for $60 or use someone else's for nothing. Why do we necessarily have to, or should we expect to, have to go out every time you need something and buy something that you're gonna put in your house and leave there for years at a time? Like the cake pans Carrie McDonald bought to make birthdays special for her three boys and is now making available for closest closet users in her area. I've had this since my nine-year-old was a baby, you know, nine years old, perfectly good still. Scarves. Carrie is also willing to give away this yarn she bought when she first tried knitting. I don't want to throw that away. I mean, there's plenty of women out there who knit and as a passion and I'm sure could put that to good use. And in return, her husband is borrowing a chemistry book. We put it out there that we needed a chemistry book and he was able to borrow it and it saved us $125. That's huge. Carrie says it makes sense to use resources already out there for financial and environmental reasons. Some things are still good and different things have different value to, um, to everybody. So to me, they may not be valuable anymore, but I can uh, share them with somebody else who may have a better use for them. Have a use for, says Joanna Basinger, save money with and foster a sense of community through. Why can't the expectation be that we lend each other a hand, that we participate in our own communities by helping each other out a little bit more. The website just got up and running a few months ago and right now has about 175 users. You can search for items in your area by zip code and if there's something you're interested in, contact that person directly to work out the details. With tonight's Project Economy, Your Money Report, I'm Keith Baldy, News 8. I love that. All right, thanks, Keith. We were just kind of joking. It's almost like an Amish barn raising, really. Everybody helping each other out.